Mm, I lied. Oh god, I'm stuck. My beautiful boat. Um. Alright, come on out, Wave Rider. I flew too close to the sun. I want through. Oh, is this like a waterfall? Let me check this out. Okay, yeah, there's no progress. I didn't realize what I was dealing with. Yeah, we're not going to be taking the boat over this. Holy cannoli, look at this. Just a, a waterfall out of nowhere. Now that surprised me. All right. Well... There's a town over there. I guess I'll just fly in because I can. There is, people. Yeah, definitely below sea level. Hey, Einery, good morning, my friend. Yes, it is a surprise. I had to switch Thursday and Friday this week, but we did it. All right, can you make it? Can we... Oh, God, we got this. We so got this. Get it? <laughs> That's some good climbing. Yeah, I guess you're right, Kuro. With the, uh... The chasm, or the chasm, and then this. We made it. This music is pretty funny. Momoko... Hi, Momo. Oh, no, I, I didn't mean to talk to you. Um, but what do you sell? Milk? Yeah, sure, I'll buy you all your milk. I'm always down to buy ingredients for cooking. Tofu? Give it to me. Tomatoes? Absolutely. Wheat, give me the gluten. All right, now I meant to actually grab uh, the animatic page and then I'll take this book. Yeah. And let's see. Looks like we made it, everybody. Here we are, the training grounds for Watatsumi Island's troops. Hey, Dietrich, what's up, my friend? Good to see you. Glad you could catch the stream. Here we are, the training grounds for Watasumi Island's troops. Right now, the resistance is predominantly made up of local soldiers from Watatsumi Island. Some of them are fighting with the Shogun's army in Tatarasuna, and some of them are stationed here on the island to keep the locals safe. Did you used to train here too? Yep. Unfortunately, I had to join the fight in Tatarasuna before I'd had the chance to impress the instructors. Uh, so they had me start off by helping in the logistics division. I'll be staying here for now. This guy and if his you logistics. Need me for anything, just come here. If I'm not around, just write a note and stick it on the wall. Okay. As soon as I see it, I'll come find you. Thank you. Shoot, it's nearly time for the appointment with Her Excellency. Hmm. Uh, I'll have to show you around Watatsumi Island some other time. For now, let's get ourselves over to Sangonomiya. Let's do it. Let's get ourselves over there. All right, so... Oh, Sanganomiya is the name of the place where Sanganomiya Kokomi lives? Huh. Let's go check it out. Yes, let's go, as you say, check it out. The Statue of the Seven is way up there, so we're going to need to climb over there at some point. I'd love to find a teleporter lying around, but there really isn't one. Uh, 
Oh yeah, Samuel? Nice stance. Controversial. I'm more of a Raiden person, but I do like Raiden for other reasons, and normally I side with Raiden. Oh, there's a teleporter. Or, uh, yeah, I was looking for something like that. Okay, how do I... It's up top? Alright, let's get that. I don't want any funny business. Got it. Fantastic. Look at these sweet seashells. I mean, is this Atlantis? Where are we? I know, Schneck, and that scallop would fill you up. Food supplies are the absolute top priority, period. We cannot afford any losses. That makes sense, Kuro. I think you're right, because it didn't show up on the map until I got closer. With the conflict between us and the Shogun's army getting more intense by the day, we must prioritize the stability of the rear guard. Understood. I will think of a way. Take heart. We have a fresh batch of supplies in hand, and I'm working on expanding the army. I appreciate that the lack of manpower has been hard on all of you, but things are going to get better. The lack of manpower has been hard, but this guy's still been able to maintain quite the manicured mustache. He trims it and tweezes it every morning. We're expanding the army? Oh, that's great. Whoever this mystery supporter is, they're doing us a great service. They sure are. Huh? Tepe, what are you doing back on Watatsumi Island? Oh, Inari, did I mention something accidentally interesting? Might I ask who? <laughs> VIP guests of Her Excellency, that's who. I'm acting under orders to escort them both here. Ah. Oh, really? Wait. Dice so K. New recruit everyone's been talking about. Strength of 20 men splits an arrow in twain from 100 paces. That's right. Skin as hard as diamond. That's you? That's me. Skin hard as a diamond. Yep, I definitely have split an arrow in twain from actually 150 paces. Strength of, I'd say about 26 men. Seriously? What is going on with these rumors? Oh, you gotta be closer than 50 meters, I'm Dietrich? Sure that makes sense. Pressing business, so I won't disturb you any further. Feel free to visit me if you have any time to spare. Oh, cool, Inari. I noticed that when I booted it up, that they were telling me that, like, a quest was immediately, or an event was immediately available to me. Your Excellency? I'll take my leave. Excellency. Your Excellency, I couldn't help but overhear Okubo mention something about a third-party supporter. What was that about? Hey, hey, George, good morning. I'm doing great, friend. How you doing? Thanks for asking. So, can I just make a, an aside point about royalty and titles? Just a funny observation. There was somebody who was in charge at one point in human history who was like, okay, when you talk to me, you have to call me excellency. I'm excellent, so you have to refer to how great I am whenever you address me. That needs to happen. And everyone was like, oh, okay, well, I guess you are pretty excellent. All right, that's fine. And so, like, everybody you know, got used to being like, all right, we need to address how awesome you are every time we speak to you. But then that word got around to, like, other rulers, and they were like, oh, he makes everyone call him Excellency? That's a great idea. Yeah, everyone, you guys all now have to call me Excellency. That is, yes, that is my title. That caught on, like, wildfire amongst rulers everywhere. Highness is also a good one, too. Like, you're way up high. I mean, like, you're probably a good 20 feet above me, Highness. Not long ago, someone wrote to me saying that they wished to support the Watatsumi Island Resistance effort. To that end, they also furnished us with a great deal of supplies. Yeah, see, Inari, so she's a high priestess, and 
So you could call her her high priestess, you know, but it's, uh, Excellency is amusing. Yes, exactly, Samuel. Somebody was just like, in, somebody was in charge, somebody was in power. People came into the room and they were like, hey, what's up? And they were like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not going to cut it for me. You can't just say hello to me. Before you even speak to me, the address that you make to capture my attention needs to refer to how awesome I am. That has to be baked in to the greeting. Otherwise, I'll have you executed. So you need to say something like, awesome supreme leader, champion, grand master, and then you can start talking. Oh yeah, Kuro. Doc is hilarious. First of all, um, none of my students ever refer to me as doctor. Ever. I don't think, except in writing, but I don't think I've ever had someone, it's like one out of every thousand students will say Dr. Sims. Professor Sims is very common, but no one will call you that title. Um, not like I, you know, desire it, but it's just... It's very interesting. I don't get the excellency treatment. I should probably start making my students on the first day of class. You will refer to me as excellency. Anything else and your grade will be significantly penalized. Thanks to them, we can finally start recruiting troops on the scale we need to openly confront the Shogun's army on the front line. Not yet, George. I'm still working on the Archon quest. Can this mystery sponsor be trusted? I am not without my doubts, but Watatsumi Island is hardly affluent, and these supplies are a much-needed lifeline for us. The sender's conditions were also reasonable. They simply ask us to dedicate ourselves fully to fighting against the Shogun's army. Samuel, that's perfect. Yeah, exactly. I make my students recite poetry and stand on the desk. You know, to get them excited. Oh, Captain, my Captain happens all the time. It happens in classes when I'm forcibly dragged out because I've been fired for my progressive teaching style. Whatever other motives they may have, we are at least aligned on this. So let's consider them an anonymous ally. Naturally, we shouldn't let our guard down. If you discover anything out of the ordinary, please report it to me at once. Your Excellency, does this mean that the food at the front line is going to get any better? I was at the field hospital the other day, and everyone was begging for some barbecued meat. Barbecued meat? <laughs> Don't worry. I've already made arrangements for that. Everyone will have their fill of meat. But to be clear, still no alcohol. That's fantastic. I understand how hard it's been on everyone. The Resistance Army's rations have barely changed at all since the Vision Hunt Decree was first announced. Mm -hmm. It just I scallops. Just with the logistics division to see what further improvements can be made. I mean, again with logistics. It's logistics this, logistics that. Logistics everywhere. I'll tell you what, though. Logistics can't be underestimated in battle. Even if you read um, Lao Tzu's Art of War... You know, so much of the, like, winning in a battle, in, in a war, in a, in a prolonged campaign, it, even in Art of War, is about a supply line and how logistically you need to be able to move troops, but also move food to them, or you will lose. And if you disrupt the enemy's supply line, you can win just outright by a tactic like that. So, logistics are extremely important this guy um Tepi keeps like downplaying how important logistics are but dude we need him however our supplies are still limited i must ask you to remain patient until victory is ours when will the vision hunt decree finally end that's the question and i'm afraid i don't have an answer the mere existence of the vision hunt decree is baffling the Tenryo Commission's attitude just doesn't seem to add up, and neither does the Shogun's. Hmm. 
The Tenryu Commission's zealous support for the decree seems to come out of nowhere, and the Shogun seems completely indifferent to the fact that it has effectively caused a civil war. Yep, Schnecken, you're right. She sure does know her stuff. Absolutely, Captain Duck, that's right. I suspect the Vision Hunt decree won't end until these mysteries are solved. All I can say for Won't certain end. Is that as long as the Vision Hunt decree remains in force, we will never give up our fight. Traveler, to confirm. Knowing the current situation facing Watatsumi Island and the Resistance, are you still willing to fight with us? You got it. I ain't scared. Good. Then here is your assignment. Okay. I hereby appoint you as captain of the Watatsumi Island Special Operations Unit. Swordfish 2. Swordfish 2. Whoa, whoa, what? Swordfish 2? Is this the same Swordfish Special Ops Unit that I'm thinking of? It's hard enough getting into a Special Ops Unit at the bottom rung, let alone jumping the captain in one fell swoop. This is incredible. Get used to it, Tippy. The Traveler doesn't mess around. Although this appointment breaks with convention, I firmly believe that with your wisdom, courage, and strength, you can lead your team to victory. Mm. Great! So when do we take up our post? The members of Swordfish 2 are currently on standby in a valley to the southwest. Southwest. Ronin have been causing trouble down there lately. Oh, we got them. And we need a special operations unit to eliminate them and stabilize the rear guard. We'll help you stabilize that rear guard. in your appointment letter, which you'll need to show them on arrival. Once that's out of the way, please leave them in ridding the area of Ronin. She's Swordfish 1, people. <laughs> she did, Captain Duck. The special ops unit comprises Watatsumi Island's elite soldiers. They can be a little rough around the edges, but I have every confidence that you will win their trust. Oh, well, who wouldn't? Um, what about me, Your Excellency? Any battles you need me to get involved in? I want to make a contribution to the Resistance, too. You are, Teppy. I'll arrange something and brief you shortly. We need you to deliver beef jerky to the men stationed here in the hospital. One successful operation coming right up. You got it. <laughs> you may have swiped the captaincy of Swordfish too, but watch this space, because this guy's on his way up. This guy's on his way up. Okay, sure. Well, be careful out there. Don't push yourself too hard. Oh, wow. Interesting. Kuro. You know, Nobunaga, I love Nobunaga's ambition for the Nintendo. It was one of my first forays into, you know, the whole Romance of the Three Kingdoms period. Well, Traveler, let's move out. Exactly, Captain Duck. This is how we get the food. All right. So they want us to go to where Swordfish 2 is located. I will. Oh, they're not stereotypical people. These voices are all, uh, you know, notorious voice actors that you would get in anime and video games. These are uh, acclaimed voice actors in this game. So they just sound familiar because they are familiar. I'm climbing up the scallop. Is there a better way to do this than scallop climbing? I don't know. But this is how we're doing it. I could get used to this. I hope we could get used to it. I'm going for the statue of the seven. I want the map. Give me the map. Mm-hmm. 
Here we go. <laughs> That's right, Samuel. I did it. You getting hungry for sushi? Schneck? What about more of those cheese puffs that you had? Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> nice, Einery. Yeah, that seems like the best way to do it. Look at that. Boom. Now that is a map. We did it. Yeah, those cheese crunchy, Schneck. And you were talking about those last time. All right. And leave, leave, leave. We did it. Worship that statue. Offer the reward. Leave. I haven't um, played Shadow of the Colossus on the channel. I own it, though. I do enjoy Shadow of the Colossus. Climbing up those huge monsters. You gotta hang on for dear life in Shadow of the Colossus. Alright, they're down here. They're nearby. Alright, these are sword fishies. Looks like them. Let's talk. Ah, you must be the new captain of Swordfish 2. Her Excellency briefed us in advance. Not super far, people, like the second or third boss. Huh. Interesting, Captain Duck. I'll have to see about that. You, and the appointment letter is all in order. But I still have my doubts. Oh, okay, buddy. Mm -hmm. About what? Yeah, really. I'll be straight with you. I want to know whether you have what it takes to lead us. Well, um... I can use vision powers without a vision, and you don't even seem to be a vision bearer. Do we need to keep talking? You mean, like, a duel? Yeah, you want to fight? Normally, a duel would be the quickest way to settle the question. But this time, we've got a better way. Really? We're stationed here because of all the ruining causing trouble in these parts. If you can get rid of them for us, we'll take that as a measure of your strength. Ah, okay. All right, let's show them what you're made of. We'll take you out. I'd rather duel you, but you want me to take out the Ronin? Fine. I see some Ronin causing trouble over here. Nice hat. You're looking great. Did you let your guard down? That's yeah, not that great, really. Okay, seems like you can hold your own. The rumors are exaggerations, of course, but still, your abilities are admirable. They're not exaggerations. My skin is as tough as a diamond. Yes, Captain Duck, that is correct as far as I understand it. Ronins are samurai without masters. They're also like wanderers generally, perhaps even almost mercenaries in some respects. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kotoku, acting captain of Swordfish 2. This is Yoshihisa, a fellow veteran of the team. Fellow vet. I now formally cede the position of captain to you. Thanks, buddy. Swordfish 2 awaits your orders. You got any more Ronin for us? There are two hard-hit areas. This was one of them, but thanks to you, this area is now secure. Their only remaining stronghold is located at the shallows on the east side of the island. I love how there's like, all right, there's two hard hit areas. I mean, absolutely devastated by the Ronin presence. You took care of the one hard hit area that was manned by three Ronin in total. And now we got to get another one. I mean, it was just absolutely so hard hit. We couldn't take it. It was three Ronin. And there's the entire swordfish too. Couldn't do it. That said, the ones over there are tougher, and there's more of them. Oh, good. There's more of them. All right, we got to secure the rear guard. That right. Watatsumi Island is busy fighting the Chogun's army on the front line. We can't let these guys mess up things at the rear. Yeah, 
And by these guys, we mean you, Swordfish 2. Achievement completed. Swordfish 2. Investigate. We just found a feather. Right out of that little shrine. Alright, so you want us to go where now? Way over here. Well, let's get this teleporter and then get this other teleporter. What a beautiful beach. You know what? Before I go over there... Um... Let's pull on, uh, Kamisato. Oh my god, this wasn't a good one. That, that was bad. We didn't get, we didn't get the treasure. Okay. They absolutely do, Captain Duck. And they were, like, worried about... ...seeding lead to me. Tisk tisk. All right. Teleporter right around here. It is, people, for sure. But um, I haven't ever spent any money on the game, and I've got over 100 hours of playtime. So it's a fantastic value. You should try it, people. It's free to play, my friend. I know. Swordfish 1, you're not cut out for that. Swordfish 2, we'll see what you can do. Okay, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Ooh, look at this field. Hi. You mind if I take your crops? Thank you. Good work on these fields. These carrots will feed me for quite some time. I do appreciate your donation. Good job guarding the bridge. It's a difficult assignment. We gave it to the best soldier we had. You. Don't let anyone cross the bridge. Yep. Oh, cool, Captain Duck. It's free? Where is that thing? Must be below me. Alright, fine. I gotta go over here. I want to stay up top. I don't want to fall down right now. Oh! Tuesday, people. I'll tell you what. I was thinking I wouldn't see these guys... But nope, the Fatui got to the big clam island. They're like, oh yeah, we're here. We'll take your chest. This was your dancing spot, but we came here to claim it from you. They really are, Dietrich. I agree with you. There's some people that are good, like, um, you know, the vision bearers are good, but the regular people, in general, not so hot. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do this.